agents are going to be like, oh, it's it, it's a little jarring to them. I'm just wondering how you approach the conversation with the agent to have them help advocate for like, hey, this is why this this offer is coming in. And um, instead of them just being like, yeah, I don't even want to show this to them. It's going to happen that agents are going to be like, oh, it's it, it's a little jarring to them sometimes. But I want to dive into the process that you're using right now. When you give them the number, when you address them with the, the price, how are you doing that? Are you sending them an email? Are you emailing them terms? Are you texting them? Or are you calling them and having that conversation? So I, at first I was calling them before I even put the offer on paper just to say like, hey, this is, this is where I'm coming in at. You know, it's you know, lower than what your seller is wanting, but this is just what I'm coming up with. Um, based on sales in the area and what I think it's going to need to to get it to market value. And some I stopped doing that and started emailing them first. So that's like, they have to show this to the seller. But then I follow up with a call of like, hey, I just want to talk to you about what I sent over. It Again, I know it's lower than what your seller is wanting, but here is my rationale. So first, using that argument, you have to show this is aggressive. They got to present it verbal or when you email it to them. But no one likes to hear you have to do this ever, 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 ever. And they're not. Doesn't matter what they what they tell you, or what they have to or don't have to do. They're not going to do it if they don't want to do it. Right. They're going to just forget you exist and email and, and delete it. Or if they fear that you're going to go to their broker and create a problem for them, they'll call their seller and say a psychopath called me today and gave me a complete ridiculous number i'm telling you what it is so that i can do my legal duty but you have you should not even respond that's how they'll present it so not helpful and doing it by email i think is creating more friction for you here's how i always do it i call them i call them up and i say hi and let's pretend it's you hi lex jamil here so I ran the numbers and I, I just need to ask, right? Because I don't want to be offensive or anything like that. Are your sellers really motivated? Because here's the thing, right? I looked at the numbers and I, and I, I, from based off of all the comps and looking at the photos that the house presents right now, it's going to be an extensive job. Like this house is going to need everything. And the comps much show that the ARV is where you've got it listed at right now, like pretty close to where it's listed at right now, not not far off at all. So two things. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe and here's a quick word from our sponsor. Hey there, this video is brought to you by Privy. Do yourself a favor and click on the link in the description. Privy can help you find real estate deals at a deep discount. Don't be a jabroni, click on the linky. Is there a mysterious or a handful of mysterious sales that I haven't seen that you know of that you can send to me so that I can I can increase my numbers? Because right now, your list price and ARV are pretty much the same thing. And usually that'll either leave them with silence or what's your number, okay? And if it's silence, I say, okay, so you don't have uh, any other comps? Or they'll, they'll scramble and say, yeah, there was some. And then they'll try to weasel out of that conversation. Or they'll just say, what, where are you at? And I'll say, I'm at X number. And this is why. When you, this is the house I used to comp it. There's this sale right here that's remodeled that shows that the ARV is, is this. There's this one that's remodeled that's recent that shows the ARV is this. And there's this one that it has been remodeled and shows the ARV is this. So when I when I work back my numbers, knowing that this house needs a full remodel to get to that value, it doesn't make any financial sense if I'm any higher than the number I'm coming in at. So now I've talked sense to them. Now I've given them the evidence. And now I've armed them with the reasons why this offer is coming in and is actually the, the number it trades at. And I'll even say, look, if your sellers aren't ready right now, you, we don't have to present right now. But this is where I think this house is going to trade. So what's your thought? Do we need to wait? Do you want you want to wait a few weeks? Do you want to, you know, feel your sellers out and see where they are? Like I start to formulate how we, me and this agent are going to convince the seller together. See what you're doing right now is this. You're fighting. You're saying you have to show my offer. You have to do this. No, no, they don't. And like, as I said, even the way that they'll present it is with, it's like this person's crazy. 
But I have to tell you because they threatened to get me in trouble if I don't tell you what the crazy number off what the crazy number is. That's not finding alignment with the agent. That's becoming an adversary of the agent. Never do that, right? Find alignment, be their friend, bring them on your side and then see how can we, me and you work together to show the, your seller that this is the number this house trades at. What can we do? Do we need to wait time? Do you want to send them the comps I found? Like, what, what do you want to do? Now you're in a process of collaborating with that realtor. Now, again, it's not always going to work. In fact, eight out of 10 times, it's not going to work right now. It's going to be, hey, this number won't work today, or maybe follow up with me in a month or follow up with me in a few weeks. It's, they're not ready yet, but it's okay for them not to be ready. It's not okay for them to be, not be ready and then hate you for it. Because remember, the follow-up process is like, look, they're not ready today. I'm going to hit you back in a couple of weeks to see if they are ready. Thanks for watching another one of my YouTube videos. Now it's your turn to go out and take some action. But before you do, like and subscribe to my channel because the law of reciprocity means you owe me, bitch.